and we're taking boats out off to the remote islands off the coast of the Kimberley region. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm seriously so excited because this video and probably the next couple of videos are way different to normal. I don't have my car on me and we've gone to Signet Bay and we're taking boats out off to the remote islands off the coast of the Kimberley region. So straight up, I actually want to show you guys the sunrise that I saw this morning because we got up at about 3 a.m. to take the boats out. So yeah, I'll show you that first. Alright, so now we've just pulled up to Cone Beach and I'm pretty sure we're going to camp here tonight and it is just absolutely beautiful. I'm here with my mate Shaden and Ethan and we're on Shaden's boat and then there's another family as well, Steve-O, Hayley and their two kids and they're on another boat too. And the guys have sort of got it sorted where we're going. I have no idea what to expect. I actually think today is a bit of a waterfall day. We'll head out to a few different islands and have a look at them. But yeah, it is absolutely just stunning here.
All right, so we are about to go and head out to the waterfalls, but one thing I did want to mention is I had no idea how much you have to really rely on looking at the tides up here. Like the other day I was at Cable Beach and there was a car literally underwater, like I could just see the snorkel. It comes up so quick and it goes out so quick as well. And they're about 10 meter tides. So the guys have got it all sorted with their boats, but even when we were coming here, like it'd be 30, 40 meters deep and then it'll drop to about three meters deep. At some points it was one meter deep. And if you don't go when the tides are high, like you're not gonna be able to get across. Just so many little things that I just never really thought that you have to think about. But yeah, they've got it sorted. But yeah, when we head out, I'll see if I can show you guys some of the tide lines because you can see how high they actually come up. So there's heaps of campgrounds that you can pull up at but here we've gone for a bit of a walk and a guy actually lived here for a really long time and it's actually massive and there's heaps of detail in it which is really cool like even all the tiles and stuff and the little holes here from coffee tins i reckon so cool all right and this is the other side of it so he's got it fully set up with like a kitchen and then a room over here as well
Alrighty, so we have made it back to camp. We pretty much spent all the day like finding waterfalls and cruising around. So we left fishing to the very last minute and we didn't actually catch anything because we thought we'd come back here before it got dark. But we have food for dinner anyway and yeah, we'll probably spend most of the day tomorrow fishing. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here and I'm guessing the next one will probably be out on these islands as well. So I will see you then. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it.